So let's go through it again. Uh, so now let's just go cosine. Now, now we kind of got a little bit of an introduction. We'll try to go through this a little bit quicker. So we have the cosine of 3 pi over 8, the exact same thing. We can't evaluate this on the unit circle. We could try to see if we could use sum or difference formulas, but we don't really like using sum and difference formulas. And I don't really want to think of what two, number, what two angles add up to give me 3 pi over 8 or subtract give me 3 pi over 8. So why even bother doing it when I can use my half angle formula, which I'll have provided to me, which equals plus or minus the square root of now 1 plus cosine of u divided by 2. So it's a little bit similar, or it's very similar to the sine, um, except now it's just going to be plus cosine. All right? So we again go back through. Well, if this is 3 pi over 8, that means that's equal to u over 2. So you could say u over 2 equals 3 pi over 8 multiplied by 2. u equals, that's 2, u equals 6 pi over 8, which is 3 pi over 4, right? So then really what we're doing is we're just going to plug that in. So we could say x equals plus or minus the square root of 1 plus the cosine of 3 pi over 4 divided by 2, right? Because our u equals 3 pi over 4. So you plug 3 pi over 4 in for u. Do you guys see that? The big mistake students do is they plug 3 pi over 8 in for u. No, 3 pi over 8 is equal to u divided by 2. Well, yes, yeah, so now we need to evaluate. So now it's asking us, what's the cosine of 3 pi over 4? Which is negative square root of 2 over 2. Also, looking at the unit circle, is we need to look at the cosine value. For our angle of 3 pi over 4, which we said is negative square root of 2 over 2, comma square root of 2 over 2, is the cosine value obviously positive or negative? negative? Negative. So rather than dealing with the positive square root, we're now going to be working with the negative square root. Or the negative times the square root. You can't take the square root of a negative number, but you can take the negative square root. So now let's go and plug in. We said that's negative 3 pi over 4. So that's negative square root of 1 minus square root of 2 over 2 divided by 2. You got to get rid of that 2 in the denominator of the numerator, right? So you got to multiply by 2 over 2. OK, make sure you apply distributive property. So negative square root of 2 minus square root of 2 divided by 4. And again, we can take the square root of our denominator. So we're equal to negative. 2 minus the square root of 2 all over 2. Okay? 